Hi guys, what's up? My name is Kirsten, if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some tips for if you are moving into a studio apartment, a tiny home, a small space, just some things that have worked for me. I live in an apartment that is less than 250 square feet, so it is pretty tiny, but I've lived here for over two years now, and it took me a while to figure out my layout, it took me a while to find things that I really loved. Um, so don't feel like you need to get everything right away, but here's just some tips that I have that worked for me and hopefully they can help you out too. So my best tip that I have for you guys, I think is to just utilize your wall space. That is my number one best tip. I put everything on the wall that I want to be decorative or on shelves. So I have huge shelves in my apartment. I'm really lucky um, that I can put a lot of pictures on, a lot of plants, anything kind of decorative that I want to be stored on the wall, um, I put on a shelf. It can be tiny pictures, it can be, you know, big pictures, it can be plants, anything that's special to you that you want to see. Um, put it on the wall instead of putting it on your nightstand or on a table because that's what's going to clutter up your space and make it feel like you don't have anywhere to store stuff. So putting it on the wall makes a big difference. Also, if you have pictures and you just want to hang them on the wall, that also works. You don't have to put them on a shelf, but um, yes, wall space. So I use my wall space in the kitchen, not just for my pictures and stuff like that, but also for um, my mugs and my coffee corner is kind of what I call it um, and I put all my mugs onto this cute little shelf It helps it to stay organized and it also frees up some cabinet space for me um, Which is really great because I have a smaller kitchen I'm lucky that it's not as small as like a van kitchen, but it is still pretty tiny um, I also utilize wall space for my knives I hang them all onto a magnetic strip on the wall and that makes a huge difference And I also have a pot rack um, on my wall where all of my big pots go or things that I reach for pretty often are all right above there which makes it really nice to not have to go through a bunch of cabinets um, to find something that I would grab pretty frequently so that makes a big difference in my daily life and also it's pretty aesthetic so I like that. Uh, another thing that I have, this isn't necessarily on the wall, but I have a spice rack on my fridge. It's not very organized and it's not very cute. That's a project that I'm going to do eventually to make them have the same containers. Um, but it is very functional because that space is, you know, something that is already there, but I'm not adding more space by having those um, things be stored. I'm not taking up more space, I should say, by having those things being stored on the fridge. And it's a great way to just have all your spices right in front of you. You can reach for them right next to your stove if your fridge is right next to it like mine is. Another great tip that I have for you guys is actually this brand called True Earth. If you are like me and you have to go um, somewhere else besides your apartment to do your laundry, it can be such a pain to carry laundry detergent around with you. Um, and let me go grab it actually. Because so not only is it eco-friendly, but it's also awesome because this is 32 loads in this small little container package. Um, it's super thin, very light, very easy to carry and way better in my opinion than a big jug that you have to carry around to the laundromat or to a friend's house or wherever you do your laundry um, if it's not in your apartment. Um, and I will go ahead and open this. This is the fragrance free option. They have scented options, they have options for infants and then they also have fragrance free options which I have not used the fragrance free yet. I've used the scented options because I love strong scents, but um, yeah, they don't smell like anything. This is what it looks like. It's just these little foam strips. You might've seen these before um, and you just rip it in half and then just throw this into the washing machine and there's your detergent. So it's super light, super easy, very convenient to be able to do laundry. Um, if you live in a place that doesn't have a washer and dryer or if you just want to help the environment So I have a coupon code with them and I will put that right here And then I also have a link in the description that if you use that link it helps to support me a little bit so um, thank you if you choose to support me and my channel and Also another tip that I have for you guys is I don't use a traditional clothing hamper just because it takes up a lot of space and if you don't have dirty clothes then you just have a hamper sitting there taking up space so for me personally, I use this laundry sack. Um, it says wash me on it and it has a handle, um, which is great because I hang it on the back of my bathroom door. So it's not taking up any floor space. And also my dirty clothes are 
kind of hidden away. Um, another great thing that I like about this is that it's a backpack. So um, if you do need to do laundry somewhere else, you just carry your dirty clothes on your back. And since it's so heavy, <laughs> It makes it nice. Um, so if you are someone like me living in a small studio apartment, um, those two things make a big difference in my personal happiness and um, motivation in doing laundry. So I hope that those two things help you. I know those aren't really decor tips, but um, things that make living in a studio a lot easier. Um, another great tip that I have for living in a studio apartment is under bed storage. So it's very important that if you have a bed that's just a typical frame like I do, um, find something that you can use for under your bed to store things. So for me, I just got some storage containers from Target underneath of my bed. They're just plastic ones. You can also get those space vac um, things to store clothes underneath if it's not in season, if you have a small closet. I'm really lucky that I have a big closet in this apartment, so I don't really have to do that, but that's a great tip if you have never used this before. Um, I think you can get those at Walmart, Target, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. Um, and then you can have your bedding underneath if you need some extra blankets or if you have a big jacket in the winter, you can store that under your bed. Another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that if you live in a studio, little things that you can do to make it your own make a big difference. When I first moved in here, my apartment was actually like dark, dark brown. And in a small space like that, it is really um, makes it feel a little bit claustrophobic and closed in. So I went for this gray color. I painted the apartment myself and I painted the trim white and I think it just made a huge difference in here just to make it feel more airy and bright. Um, and so if you are able to paint, um, if your landlord will let you, that's something that I would definitely ask because that is a really inexpensive option. It's a little bit labor intensive, but it does make a huge difference in your space if you're able to paint it and make it your own. Um, another thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I think made a big difference in my personal apartment is I changed out my shower head and that <laughs> in itself just, I mean, complete game changer to be able to have stronger water pressure um, and to be able to have like different settings on my um, shower head and to be able to remove it because I have a small stand up shower. Um, so that makes a really big difference. I also installed a shower shelf um, and anything that I talk about, if I don't have a link for the exact item, I will find something similar and it will all be linked in the description below. But the shower shelf that I have um, is really awesome to me. I've seen ones on like TikTok and stuff that you can press a button and have like soap dispensed. And I think those are really great options too. I've never used it um, in my apartment. I've used them in other spaces and I think they're great. But I didn't see that. I got those like when I first moved in this shower shelf and it's just these little plugs um, that stick onto your shower and then you can put whatever you want on there. It can be body wash, it can be hand soap, um, sorry, not hand soap. It can be body wash, bar soap. Um, your shampoo, your conditioner, whatever you would like. And I really like that because my loofah hangs from that. I also now have a spot for my um, razor and all of that stuff. So there's the over the shower caddies too. Those are also a great option, but I really liked the shelf option because I was running out of space with just my over the shower caddy. I also purchased this wood floor. I think it's acacia wood floor or teak. I can't remember, it's one or the other. Um, shower floor and that made a big difference in just feeling very elevated in my shower I guess is a good way to put it um, sometimes when you're renting it can feel weird the first couple showers that you take in your new apartment um, and also it's just nice to feel a little bit lifted off of the ground if your shower is really tiny and sometimes pools water or anything like that so um, I think it also looks great and it feels great on your feet um, to stand in the shower on this little wood thing. So I don't really know what it's called. They call it like a shower rug on Amazon, I think, but I just use mine in my shower and I think it's awesome. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in an outdoor shower. Um, and I really like that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I talked about under bed storage. I talked about most things. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. So I love books, but they take up a lot of space. So I, actually started using Audible when I moved into my studio apartment and um, playing it over the loudspeakers and I really love Audible. There is a membership that's $7.95 a month. I think that it's just streaming. You can stream books or you can get two book credits a month for I think like $15, which when you think about it is really affordable because every time you buy a book, it's about $15. So 
Um, I really love Audible. I use it all the time on my commute to work, um, when I go to work, and I also have been using it recently, kind of when I'm just cleaning or when I'm over music and I just want something different on, and that's a great space saver as well. Um, it's like a Kindle because it saves space, but you can just listen to it over a speaker or you can put your AirPods or headphones or whatever you listen to stuff on with and listen to it that way and then you don't have a bunch of books taking up a lot of space. I love books and I think that they're great but when you live in a small space you kind of got to pick and choose what things work best for you. So I hope that these tips helped you. Um, if you have any great tips for studio apartments leave them down in the comments below. I would love to know. Um, I am always looking for new ideas. I'm always on Pinterest looking for things <laughs> and ideas for um, things to share with you guys and things, you know, for me to apply into my apartment because I love my apartment, but there's always things we could improve on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe um, because I would love to have you around. If you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you guys on Sunday. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday and I will see you then. Bye guys.